good evening YouTube who's your piper Saturday evening quick video got a yabo to do and um, haven't posted a video in some time so um, letting everybody know that I'm still kicking out here um, today I was down in uh, Bloomington Indiana stopped in at the Briar and the Burley and picked up a couple tobaccos want to show those to you first time I've tried this the uh, Cherry Bomb by K.O. And I uh, had one pipe out of that. It's been really good. Um, I'm an aromatic guy. I like I like the aromatics. And um, I think I'm going to like that Cherry Bomb. I've got some ideas. I may want to try to mix that with something else. Uh, it's not too strong. I know some people say it's really powerful, but almost uh, overwhelmed by the cherry taste. I didn't get that on my first pipe, but uh, I'll pay attention to it and pipes to come and then I picked up another package of my Dorchester from Esoterica um, an 8 ounce package this is probably my favorite tobacco of all time um, I know it's a vapor it's not an aromatic I guess uh, but this is probably my favorite tobacco I love this stuff this was the last bag that they've had. I've got two unopened packages now and uh, just a little bit left in my mason jar, so I'll be jarring this up uh, fairly soon. But I got that down at the Briar and the Burley as well. Got quite a laugh when I asked them if they had any Stonehaven and they just said, they said, we answer the phone by saying, um, this is the Briar and the Burley and no, we don't have any Stonehaven. So uh, I guess when it comes in, uh, it goes out pretty quickly. But pretty good guys down there. Talked to one fella, and I can't remember his name now. He's been um, working in uh, various tobacco shops uh, over 40 years. So they really know what's going on. It's really a pleasure to talk to them um, down in Bloomington, Indiana. So if you ever get to the south, I think it's southwest of Indianapolis in Indiana, um, in the town of Bloomington, check them out. Briar and the Burley. I do have a uh, Yabo uh, to open up, and uh, you guys um, probably are aware uh, I was a winner on Stephen Waters' um, recent giveaway, and so kind of under. I know what's in this package. It's packaged up really well, taped up really well. Um, Stephen, I do have a request. Um, I'm having a little difficulty reading your address so if you could maybe send that to me electronically I would appreciate that um, I will try to do my best to, to decipher this um, but I appreciate you um, sending this to me and it, it did get here and it's in, in really good shape comes in the HP box here actually I think your address is on this HP box so I'll be able to probably get that um, put that in with my records so let me see what we got here got a bro note here and your address written on this as well I appreciate that A little bit of, uh, oops, two pieces of paper. A little bit of history about the uh, about this piece that he sent me, and I'm thinking yeah, very cool, very cool. Some some additional history about the battle as well, and I am a. Uh, I love history, so Stephen, thank you for including this. I will read that um, as I have time. But you guys will remember, this is the barrel that Stephen had up. This is just incredible. From the Teak 
of the HMS Iron Duke Admiral, I don't want to mispronounce that name, Jellicoe's flagship, Jutland, 1916. That is, that is incredible. It's really cool. So, um, I will put this uh, with my some of my prized possessions, uh, certainly on display so I could take a look at it and think of you from time to time, but I, I just am so appreciative that you, um, that this was the prize for your, your gall. I mean, I, I can't, uh, your giveaway, I can't, can't believe it. It's pretty cool. I really like it. Thank you, Stephen. I'm going to take a break and, uh, read over the, that paperwork there. Um, if you haven't checked out Stephen Waters channel, why don't you do that? His channel name is Stephen Waters and um, always fascinating stories and always a good joke at the end typically of his videos. Um, so go check him out. Um, doing really well on YouTube and I really appreciate and enjoy his videos. So Anyways, guys, I'm doing all right, um, kind of working through things here, um, but uh, doing okay. So until next time, who's your piper?